Right, today I'm going to make some color jam. It is a very first trial attempt, okay? So first you need milk powder, which is one cup. I'm going to measure it with the tablespoon. Put in the cup. So you need one cup milk powder. Half a cup plain flour. Quarter cup simolina. Suji, shuji, simolina. Two teaspoon of baking powder. Maybe a pinch of salt as well. Pinch of salt. Mix it together. Remember, people, this is me trying it out. Then what you need to do, get one egg, add a little bit of red color, spoon of ghee, Couple of spoon of cooking oil, mix it together, mix it properly. Make sure you mix it properly so that everything combines. Give it a good, good bash. I can see this is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause it. In the meantime, I'm going to make the syrup, in which I have put two and a half cup of water, in which I'm putting one and a half cup of sugar.
Now, I'm going to make the gulab jamun. Is it not? Kala jamun. Sorry, keep saying gulab jamun for some reason. So you rub some ghee on your hand. Pinch a little bit from the dough. And just give it a shake. As you all know from the shops when we buy a uh, color jam, it has like a nice oval shape. So that's what I'm going to try to maintain. Remember, you don't need to make it too big, as they will go bigger when they soak up all the shira, the syrup. Yeah? Like that. I'm going to make some big ones. Make them any size you like. Big, small, round, long, whatever shape you like. I'm going to make them big and some small ones. You can see this video is going to be very long. Let's pull. So now it's time to fry them. Remember, you're going to fry them on a very low heat. Bismillah. Nothing too vigorous. Slowly put them in. And you need to make them black. That's why it's called kala jamun. Not kulab jamun. Which I keep saying. You can make a tiny one. Slowly put them in. Looks like I don't want to fry them in two batches. Gently twist them so they get like turn on the other side as well. So gently touching them and frying them on a very low heat. Probably gonna take about five, six minutes. Not sure yet. Remember, just wanna give them a little nice colour, dark colour basically. And if you fry them on a high heat, it's gonna get burnt. Not gonna get done inside. So get to get the inside done properly, you need to be frying them at a very low heat. So they get done from inside out. I can see like little colour coming along. See, can you see? Probably going to go five, six minutes. I can really smell it now. It smells so nice. It's a little bit of color enough. Just chuck it into the shira. This took me exactly six minutes, guys. I'm going to put the rest of them in.
remember I've been doing on a very low heat again just gently gently touch them so they get turned upside down gently touching them like this bear with me please don't mind the video is going to be very long this time well the others are smoking over there can you see I get these done yeah Just leave it for it to simmer in the water while the syrup for a little bit, couple of minutes. Mm. 